Hi guys, it's Bob here, and in this video I'm uh, bringing you what is essentially sort of two stroke three products. Uh, you would normally buy sort of uh, one or the other here. And uh, what it is, is uh, I've got this from Rockform. Now this is the Sport Series bike mount here, and that is just the mount in there. And as you can see, it isn't marked up for a case of any kind because obviously anything bigger than the six wouldn't fit in this box. And then what I've also got here, which I'm quite excited to uh, try out, this one is the Pro Series bike mount. And this one is made from uh, a CNC'd uh, billet of aluminium, basically. So uh, very nice looking, uh, very professional looking. And then because I have the six plus, I have the case for the six plus. Now obviously that wouldn't fit into any of these boxes. These boxes would normally come with um, a case of your choice. Um, so, you know, bear that in mind that normally if you if you wanted like the, uh, the iPhone 6 and this mount, then the case would come inside this box. There is a position for it. But because I've got the 6 Plus, I had to uh, have the case sent as a separate parcel. So big thank you to Rockform for sending these out. And what we're gonna do first is I'm going to uh, put those two over there and I'm going to uh, open this box and uh, we'll have a look at the case. You can see Sport version three there. So I'll just pop it from there. Right, there we go. So you get the case here itself. Very tough actually. Actually, wow, that is pretty tough. Uh, then we get this here now. Right, hold on, let me. <laughs> What we've got here is that's it right get rid of that bit of cardboard there now we can actually properly see what we get here now you get this first now this is an extremely strong uh, magnet with the rock form branding on it uh, very nice they are extremely strong uh, you can see it's got like a little knurled section around there in fact let me just take it out of there and this is for you to stick basically anywhere where you might want to stick your phone pretty much. You can see it's got that nice knurled edge around there. Very tough. Um, I think it's, it's actually a piece of metal this as well. With 3M sticker on the back, stick that to your wall, car dashboard, anything like that, your phone then sticks to it because your phone, whichever piece of this you have in, has this magnet in the back of it. So take that out of there. Now you can see that this one's cut so it fits the bike mounts, which we'll have a look at shortly. And this one here, you literally just have the magnet in it. So then what would happen is that would be on your car dashboard or whatever. And there you go. So be careful. You could actually <laughs> end up with, um, with uh, your skin getting nipped and getting yourself a little uh, black mark there. Uh, and you get a little lanyard. So take that off there and there you go that's your land layout and that comes basically that is the same for basically the sports series nice little lanyards and um, obviously I mean I'm not a big user of lanyards myself this case that's very tough a uh, bit of polycarbonate there and then it's got like a rubberized section added in around there so let's get the phone into that anyway in fact let's put that one aside. in fact let me just Take that because that's an integral part of that. And then if we pop that in there, and you can see it's got that bit of padding on there just to uh, help prevent from damage to your phone. And this is the first time I've tried this in here, so let's see how this goes. And I'm hoping it's a really tight fit because if you're gonna be putting this on a bike, it wants to be tight. Well, that's the way I see it anyway. And, uh, yes, that is. Yeah. So there we go, that's it. Now, so you can see your Apple logo through the uh, slot in the back there. Full opening for your camera, flash, microphone, everything there. Access to the rocker there. And let me just have a look at these. Let me just open that. Actually, I'm surprised that you don't need uh, much more, you don't really need any more effort to no, they're very, very easy. There's, there's, I, I was surprised there. I was expecting more pressure required for that. 
So you've got full excess around there, obviously anything, uh, you know, if you've got sort of, you know, um, a bigger third party set, then you might uh, struggle with that there. But other than that, it's all open, so you can get to everything there, you can charge it and what have you. So I'm pleased with that. So now let's have start having a look at the, uh, the, handle, the handlebar mounts here. Because in a later video, you are going to see me testing these out. So I'm not sure what these are for. I think these are some kind of a, a waterproof bag because you get one in both of them. Uh, and I think basically they're just throwing in like a waterproof bag because uh, technically you wouldn't be able to sort of, I mean, that's not going to fit in there. So, you know, your smaller phone might just fit in there. So I'm assuming that that is for putting your phone in while off the bike um, because obviously there's no opening in the back for you to uh, add it to anything else. So uh, let's have a look what we get here. So another lanyard. Is that a coating that's... I'm not sure if that's a peel off coating. But basically that is to wrap around your handlebar because this particular one clamps to your handlebar. That's to wrap around. Now whether that's to give you some extra grip or um, whether just to th for thickening the handlebar, I'm not 100% sure yet until I uh, get to trying it out. So let's take that out of there. And there we go. So once you've wrapped that tape around your handlebar, then that would clip over the top. And obviously it's all going to be down to how tight you pull that around there to get that as tight as you possibly can onto your handlebar. So let's try the case on there anyway. So let's have a look at this. Ah, there we go. And that's rock solid, yeah. So get that as tight as you possibly can on your handlebar. That's not going anywhere until you press that down and twist the phone back. Yeah, that's, uh, try that again. Yeah, it's very solid that actually, very solid indeed. So if I just show you that, and you can see that that just has that little bit of movement, and then you can twist it. Very solid indeed. Quite impressed with that actually. Um, this this bit here has all got like a. It's all pretty much plastic, and then we've got this rubberized coating that starts here, all the way down over this bit here. So it's all plastic with like a rubberized coating, and then this piece is fully rubber. So obviously, and you can see that there is some flex in those and that rubber actually stretches as well. So I'm assuming that you can pull that all the way around to there. So if you've got uh, a bike with a very thin bar on it, then you know that's gonna be about as thin as you're gonna get it. But of course, remember you can thicken it up then with, the, uh, with that uh, strip of uh, stick on stuff that we've got. So let's put that aside and get to the exciting one, the pro version. Um, <clears throat> I am going to try these out on a bike, so um, and I'll, there will be a, another video come along with that. So instructions, that's it inside there. So quick look at the uh, the box itself, and you can see there you can see it in use. So what you can see is that this one you actually need to you take an Allen key, and this is why it's for the pro version. It's for bikes that have a separate uh, stem as you can see, a separate stem and riser. Um, whereas, uh, you know, on sort of like a lower quality and cheaper bikes, they tend to have the one piece stem and riser, in which case you wouldn't be able to use this form of clamp. So secure mount, quick install, fits. Now this, now I'm assuming they do it for both, but this one is for an inch and an eighth threadless steerer tube. So that, you've got to remember that, that one's for an inch and an eighth. So I'm assuming that they do one for inch, possibly inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter was a much, big, a much bigger format that came along much later. Although I haven't actually been in cycling now for quite some time. So that's why I'm sort of, I'm sort of looking forward to sort of going back to it a little bit really and at least giving it a try. Uh, I used to do a lot of mountain biking and since I got ill, I had to sort of quit it really. So let's have a look. That is very nice. Nice solid bit of aluminium there, guys. Very nice indeed. 
Now you can see with this one, <coughs> what helps to hold this one in position is the fact that you're hovering that magnet above another magnet. So that will be what actually helps to hold it in that position once it's on the bike. So put that there. And this is the bit that replaces the top cap on your steerer tube. So what you're going to do is it'll go that way up, yep, yeah, because that'll go into there. So you're only going to need a, a five millimeter Allen key, I believe it is in uh, these, in uh, the threadless steerers. I'm sure it's a five millimeter Allen key, but if not, I'm sure I'll find the right one. So you've got this one here. Now remember, you'll be using your own your own um, Allen bolt for uh, swapping this because I'll swap with the top cap on the uh, the mounted bike or whatever well, whatever bike you've got really so that one's for there so that will be to go through there that into there and then that will go into there and then obviously it's a case of you rotate that into the uh, the angle that you want and then you'll tighten that up and that'll hold it in to the position that you want it to be held into. And there's the hole for your top cap bolt. Just remember not to over tighten when you put it back in, otherwise you will strip your uh, staff angled nut. And then we get a much tougher and very nice uh, little, uh, I've pulled the thing off, that needs to be put back in there. It's a, another little uh, lanyard. Now, this is the actual used part of the lanyard. I'll pop that back through that small hole later. Um, what you're supposed to actually do is, because, because this is only being held by, sort of like in position by the magnet, what they're giving you is this, this much tougher lanyard. And what you would do is you would slide that over there first, slide that back. And then if you do have a slight accident, this comes dismounted for any particular reason, it's still gonna be left hanging by this. So you're not gonna lose your phone, smash it on the floor or anything like that. So let's give this one a try. Now remember we've got a magnet in there and a magnet in the back of there. So it all is, it's already starting to pull it uh, into position. So if I, that's it, there we go. And boom, there we go, it's in. Actually, that's, that, that magnet is holding it very solidly, very solidly indeed. You can see there's a bit of flex in there, but that's because it's on a plastic case, of course. Uh, which, however, uh, by the way, they actually do aluminium cases as well. So you can actually get these in CNC machined uh, aluminium, same as this is, which is uh, from um, 6061, I believe, T6 uh, CNC machine from a solid billet. So from that point of view, you know, you're getting a, a very high quality piece of metal there. So that's the version three uh, bike mount there. And that's the pro series. And then we've got the version three sport series with a sport series case. Uh, so, so next it's to uh, put these on the bike and go for a Raz basically. And, um, and from that point, I suppose I'm going to say, I'll see you in the next one. That's for a different video, guys. Okay, see you in the next one, guys. Cheers. See you.